Scotland is quite a wee country, but we have big seas. In fact, they are about six times our country's landmass. Our seas have been brimming with life since a long time ago. Around the 1500s, our population really started to grow. And so did the number of fishing boats. Times were good. By the 1800s, we were landing enough fish to feed our towns and cities and export abroad. By the 1880s, steam-powered vessels took to the seas before diesel engines eventually revolutionised the fleet. The ships were so successful that we started actually to overfish our waters. So we then started to make new laws to regulate the fishery, protecting inshore fisheries from bigger, more powerful boats. Our fleet now fishes far out to sea and boats come from many different countries to fish in Scottish waters. Since the 1960s, we have come up with a whole lot of other new ways to make a living from the sea. The number of marine industries has exploded. And unfortunately, so have the impacts. Salmon farming has become a major new industry, but it comes at a cost. There are now more farmed salmon than wild salmon. Sea lice are leaving their mark on coastal wildlife and contributing to a host of pressures on our iconic wild salmon. Our ships carry cargo that we cannot afford to spill, but accidents will happen. And chemical and plastic waste is building up with toxic results. Our fishing gear is increasingly effective and can fish close to rocky areas that were previously no go. All of this has happened without us looking after the life support system of our seas, the habitats and species within. As a result, the health of our seas has suffered. This is not just a few species going missing. A few years ago, our government published an atlas which shows an unequivocal decline in marine biodiversity. It highlighted a new emerging threat too, climate change. Our response to this means our seas are getting even busier. It is more pressing than ever that we have a planning system to protect the marine environment. So what's the solution? In recent years, we campaigned for new legislation to reverse the alarming ecological decline in the health of our seas. The campaign worked and this legislation was made into law. Our Scottish Government now has a duty to set up Marine Protected Areas, MPAs. These MPAs are areas of the sea which can be managed to protect the full spectrum of life in our seas, safeguard the places where they live and start to recover the wider health of the ocean. Great in theory, but like most things in life, it's not that simple. Scotland's seas are facing a complex problem. Let's get in about it and find out why. This used to be carpeted in amazing habitat forming sea creatures, bivalve mollusks, sponges, feather stars, corals, some of which are unique to Scotland. These acted as nurseries for fish and other sea life. But decades of intensive human activities mean that this diversity is now mainly found in the hard to reach areas. If this was on land, this would be easy to see. Instead, the problem is underwater, hidden from sight. Beneath the waves, we are left with isolated pockets rich in sea life, but the rest of the area is far from pristine and in some places reduced to a much simplified and therefore less resilient ecosystem. So for MPAs to play a part in recovering the health of our sea, we need protection to kickstart that recovery. If we only protect the remaining biodiversity, we lose sight of MPAs as a tool for change. We cannot afford to protect simply what is left. We must grab the opportunity to recover at least some of what we have lost. And if given a chance, our seas can bounce back to health. Protected areas mean healthier and more productive seas. It's not just the size of the MPAs that matters. They have to be managed well to make a real difference. 
Otherwise, this is just a big waste of time and a lot of red tape with no benefit for anyone. And nobody likes that. We need to solve the recovery problem in Scotland seas. We campaign for real MPAs that have bigger zones, off limits to damaging activities and which protect more species and habitats currently left out of the network. Support MPAs to recover Scotland's seas. Let your representatives know you care about this one.